Yo, 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 what's good, man? It's your boy A1. Uh, we're out here talking Madden moves, and in this video, we are going to talk about some Madden moves. Uh, it's a kind of interesting video. I'm in practice mode, and I'm kind of like trying to set up this video for y'all and for you three, four guys like to stop the run and need to know how to stop the run that are comfortable in three, four, because not everybody's comfortable in like a four, two, five defense. Make sure you guys get that one too. That, that's way more effective. Uh, this is just for you guys that like the three, four. Um, even I myself, like I'm trying to shoot this for you guys, giving my best, but I struggle with this three, four defense is kind of, it's tough to run. Um, it's tough to stop the run. It's not tough to run, but it's for guys like to run the ball on it, you got to make sure you got some key things. So number one off top to give yourself the best chance to stop the run, you need to have some linebackers. If you guys notice, I switched over Kwan Alexander and then, uh, Warner, I put them in middle linebacker. You got to have solid middle linebackers when you're trying to stop the run. Cause if you don't, man, I'm telling you, it can get ugly. It really can get ugly. Solid middle back linebackers and some, some thumpers back there at safeties. Uh, maybe two corners. Like, this is like some mud tip type stuff. Uh, it's, it's, it was tough this year, you know. The, uh, stopping the run was tough. Uh, but, I mean, this 3-4 defense, you want to make sure that your base aligning, um, have these linebackers spread out, bring the safety down. You want to make sure that he's in a spy. Um, you want to take the other safety. You're basically playing linebacker. You need to go hit that gap extremely fast because when you don't they break away and uh you got to so like in this video it's going to show you guys some positive plays and some negative plays some stuff i do intentionally some stuff i just you know you sometimes you misreact like you mess up uh like you know it happens you guys all know about the run like sometimes you make the one wrong step and that's it or you'll have plays like this and you stop it i want to show you guys how we can just kind of be consistent and then um just decreasing some flaws too as well when you're running the 3-4. And it, it just opens up a lot of more gaps, in my opinion, compared to like a 4-2-5. But I want you guys to take whatever is comfortable because some of you guys might run it better than I do. Maybe. See right there when you have good pursuit and you have that backer going. And uh, I think the plays might scrape O um, or might scrape 1, something like that. You see the defense right there with that linebacker. He's coming out from a blitz from the outside. So that pretty much allows uh, him to be like a good linebacker like I was talking about earlier. That's like a 99 or something like really good. I don't know. Very, Ryan Shays, Ray, Ray Lewis. They're going in for a blitz. That's just as good as you coming in to fill a gap like at full speed. Like he's hitting that gap no matter what. I mean like right here he takes up two tackles, take two blockers, you know, and then you're able to come in and make a tackle. Um, that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about. Again, you want to bring that guy down. You want to cheat him over to the right as much as possible. Uh, that receiver, it's kind of it's easy, it's kind of tougher for him to to get the blocks um, when he's what's it called out there. Like I don't know, it's it's weird. But make sure you guys are just bringing those guys down, cheat them to that right side. The left side is easier to stop. Now I'm gonna show you guys just like a little breakdown real quick. So when you're reading your breaking down film, something I've learned is you want to make sure you look at it from different angles. So we're starting off in the back angle right here, the, like a uh, inside run game. And you see that linebacker, he's coming in feeling fast. It's good having that safety in the spot if you guys are still playing the game mode because he can come down and play run. That way it's just like we're all attacking, we're all hitting gaps. Uh, and the way you got to truly like goal line. The 4 2 is a little bit different in how you run it, like the philosophy. But this one is just like you're a 3-4 person and you want to get him out the run and you master this defense. I'm um, telling you right now, if you master this defense, th there's no one that can run the ball on you. Uh, you won't necessarily have issues with it. You will not necessarily have issues with that. So, again, he's just handing it off. We see, like, Warner right here. What makes this play good is, like I said, if you have good linebackers, they're able to blow up um, offenses. So, what, th what happens is that he comes in, he takes on two guys because he blows the guard up into the fullback. So, now it's like, okay, we got two for two, two for one right here. Uh, he, the running back's going to hit the outside. That's fine. You know, I'm running with him. I'm at his hip. When you're playing user, you want to make sure you're hip to hip. Like, be hip to hip with these guys, man, because they can cut back on you. Be hip to hip. We're right on his inside hip. Right on his inside hip the whole entire time. Um, we got an outside pursuit coming in to help out, too, as well. And backside to uh, pursuit, too, as well. And the game is weird because look how many guys on the right side are just taking up for. Um, but because we're able to get over top, it allows us to, um, you know, make a big time play like downfield. D Ford is doing his best to hold the edge, but again, it's tough this year. It's tough to run. It's it's tough to set the edge like that. That receiver has to go ahead and block the uh, the the safety. 
I mean, the cornerback that's playing off, that's what's pretty nice about three four two. He has to block him. That way we kind of just come up and um, we fill in. Uh, but that's pretty much the breakdown. Like, I just want to run that through you guys real quick, man, so you guys have kind of an idea. Again, you just want to make sure you bring these guys in, have them out, bring that safety downwards, um, and then make sure you pursue. I appreciate you guys are tuning in, man. Your boy A1 is out.